Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is technically Saturday, the 30th of April. It's actually Friday. <laughs> I'm having to pre-record this because the day that you're seeing this is the day of Jesse's birthday party and we're gonna be busy all day. So I'm pre-recording it now, which is Friday, but you'll see it Saturday morning um, and Saturday all day. But anyways, so No Catch Your Name 171. I've got seven finished objects and no whips. <laughs> I gotta start some new stuff. Actually, I have a few things I want to start, so I'll have whips probably Sunday. <laughs> but um, most of the, pretty much all the stuff you've already seen, it's just on my No Catch Name episodes, I like to, you know, show everything I haven't showed yet in an episode, and then I can do what I want with it. But there is one thing that last time you saw it was a whip, and I'll show that in just a second. But first, I'll go through all the blue stuff you've already seen. <laughs> so first is, uh, this is a paid for pattern. And it's called the Handy Tissue Pouch. It is by Heidi Yates, which is Snappy Tots. And I used the H Hook, which is a five millimeter. And this is worsted weight yarn from the Dollar Tree. And it's Premier Just Yarn Worsted. The color is az Azure. I can never say that right. But you guys have already seen this like a hundred times. I'm just showing it again. I can finally put it in my truck. But it holds uh, hand sanitizer and the little pouches of tissues. I feel like I should have done one more moved it up you know one more row but whatever it's got a handle so there's that this is a paper pattern but i'll link it below if you want to check it out and jesse actually has asked me to make him one of these so i gotta make him one in green <laughs> so there's the first one next is uh, these are three technically this is a square pattern called small winter burst by dragonfly mom of two <laughs> and again it's same yarn as the other one and same hook so i made three of them there's one. I did weave in the ends when you've seen it yesterday or Wednesday. There's, I don't remember <laughs> whatever day I put it out. Thursday. Um, I didn't have my ends woven in, but I, I wove them in last night. So they're all ready to be stashed away until I make more squares to go with them. Like I mentioned, I'm going to make a ton of these squares in all different colors um, to make eventually a scrappy gray, uh, afghan with. Someone asked if I should just use the other blue to make like part of a square, but I wanted to do the whole square one color. So that's why I didn't do that. Uh, I'll just use that blue for amigurumi pieces and um, I'll just stick to making them solid colors because I don't want it to be super scrappy like this blanket behind me. <laughs> I want it to just be different colors. But anyways, there's that. June's making noises and I might have to go deal with her. Uh, and this is the next one. It's Woodland Birds. This is a free pattern by Crow Originals. This is a free PDF download from Ravelry. Again, same yarn with an H hook. And this is Premier Just Yarn as well, but it's a gold color. There he is, he's cute. I held him double, all of his pieces double, cause I want him to be bigger. And he's got 20 millimeter safety eyes. And he's got fiber fill in him, he's just so cute. I think he's adorable. I've made this pattern a whole bunch. They're just normally like that big when they're not held double. But I think he's adorable. So you've already seen all these recently. My other finished object that you have already seen is my shrug. It is the Stonewash Shrug by Make and Do Crew. Let me go back. I started it all the way back in February. Let's see, this is January, February. Yeah. I used an eye hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter. And I used Red Heart Super Saver in the colors Zebra and Glowworm. I started it February 7th and I finished it in April. I'm not exactly sure. I'll insert a picture or a video clip of what it looks like. You would have already seen it, but I haven't showed it in a No Catch Name episode yet. I don't think. I might have showed it last time. I don't know. But uh, you might, you'll just have to see it again, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, my last finished object is what I was working on on Wednesday. I finished it last night. And it is the, whoops, this is the wrong. There you go. It is the smallish, smallish Witch by Amigurumi To Go. I used an E hook, which is a 3.5 millimeter, and I used worsted weight yarns, uh, scrap yarns. Ta da! The only thing I haven't done is her mouth. <laughs> I gotta get some pink to do her mouth, but she's so cute. This is Red Heart Super Saver Light Sage, or Tom, black and white. She's got little underwear. <laughs> But uh, she's so cute. She's made a lot of pieces. Let's see her. Her two arms, her two sleeves, and her ja her dress. That's five. Her body, six, seven, eight, nine, plus the hair. Nine pieces in the hair. But she's so cute. I sewed her together last night while I was watching a movie. I just got to do her little mouth. I haven't done that yet. And her hair, I didn't put too much on there. But I think it's cute. Wee! 
so I'm done with my little witch. She's so cute. She's pretty small. But this is a free pattern. I'll link it below as well. And that's all I got because I don't have any active whips. I do have a few things that I want to make. Ooh, June's crying. I gotta go get her. Um, so I'll be starting some stuff hopefully this weekend to share with you guys. But like I said, today that you're seeing this is Jesse's birthday party. So we're gonna be busy all day. And um, we might go to the movies tonight. So yeah. That night that you see this. <laughs> uh, but uh, I guess I'm gonna hop off here because the baby's whining and I gotta go see what she wants. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye guys.